Hey everybody, you UUSK back. Late Raw review. Uh, no ROH review this week because I wasn't able to see it, but NXT and Raw will be done. Uh, but let's get it started with Raw review for September 7th, 2015. So, let's start off. So, we're going to be playing some NK in the background. You know how this works. Tower style. Traditional towers. Some endless gonna be messing around with Johnny Cage a little bit I've liked what they've done to him in the patch I think he's a lot more fun actually feels a lot like more legit like Johnny Cage is good it's just Johnny Cage. not a lot of people were playing him because it, it, it was like Cage. all run canceling I guess I'll do fist of cups I like fist of cups so yeah Seth Rollins starts off the show you know Seth Rollins the boy I like Seth Rollins but damn man these 20 minute promos gotta stop at the end of Raw. It sucks the soul out of the show, Why man. Here, so I'm not a big fan of that. You, you know, Seth Rollins is the man. Seth Rollins is special. He's a special boy. And he's the diamond, you know. Not Diamond Dallas Page, but the diamond. Alright, I got you, Kung Lao. Gatorade. No one's ready for the Gatorade. So yeah, Seth Rollins coming out. Talking about how greedy he is, you know, I agree 1000%. So, Seth Rollins, of course, Seth Rollins can go all night long, baby. Just made me think of Adam Cole. You know, he's Seth freaking Rollins, you know, like he was saying to himself, he thought, he thought, like, I should be fine fighting John Cena and Sting. You wanna know why? Because he's Seth freaking Rollins. And I'm in the background saying the same thing, like, yo, you are fucking Seth Rollins, man. Like, I've been saying you're Seth fucking Rollins forever now. <laughs> I love that grab by Kun Lao, it's really good. So, yeah, we got Seth hyping himself up. Way too long of a promo though, I love Seth. Like, I don't think he's that bad on the shtick, but like, it can get pretty old hearing like, the same promo every fucking time, so. That was whatever. So Sting comes out in the Titan Tron. And he's with the Seth statue. He keeps like fucking around and cleaning it. Ooh, I missed the follow-up, but that's fine. Old school fatality. Show you again. Yeah, I like bananas. So yeah. So Sting comes out, toys with him. Oh, Seamus comes out, which is fucking weird. I was like, oh, okay, Seamus, do your thing. I like Seamus. He's good. Uh, the there was a great line where um, Seamus is like, uh, you sound stupid. He's like. If you only knew how stupid you sound, and Seth Rollins like, if you only know how stupid you look, and everyone's like, oh, you know, it was high school all over again. Let's get this over with. So I was done with that. Just like old times. And then we got Paige versus Sasha right. Banks, the waifu. <laughs> Sasha Banks waifu. She was finally up, up, down, down. Everyone will check the YouTube channel with Xavier Woods. So that was cool. Everyone knows I love Sasha Banks. Like oh, beating on my wife right now. <laughs> So, yeah, this match was whatever. It was just Paige and Sasha Banks again. Didn't get enough time as usual. That's how they do with Sasha Banks these days. Jesus on Raw. Sasha wins with a roll up after Team Bad B A D F O B. No, let's not talk about Carmelo. This <laughs> even just getting better. Carmelo's getting better. I don't hate her as much anymore. So yeah, whatever. This was whatever. It's a shame to see the way they use Sasha. Like, they could be using her a whole lot better, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get those not shot. Ooh. And then we get, um, the Ascension. The crazy, yelling, Illuminati vampire people. Versus, uh, Brian Pillman and uh, Roman Reigns. Believe that, everybody. I'll punch people in the mouth because it makes me feel good at night. I'll fall asleep just thinking of how I wake up and I punch people in the mouth because my name is Roman Reigns. Oh, God. So, yeah, Roman Reigns and Brian Pillman have a match. Uh, they kind of just shed over the fucking Ascension. This just sucks. I, I was so happy to see the Ascension. I was like, get the Ascension. Not as happy I was to see them on NXT last time, you know, where they got like the fucking welcome bag and all that. And like, yeah, boy. Oh, we will keep doing this all day, Liu Kang. Ah, uh, so whatever. And you know, of course, uh, 
Brian Pillman and uh, fucking um, Roman Reigns wins. It just sucks just to see the Ascension getting jobbed out like nothing. Like they literally got like no moves in this match. It was just like we're on a train on those boys. They got they got peed on, man. So yeah, Bray Wyatt promo, you know, run. Uh, we got to hear more of that Braun Strowman like guy guy talk. He's actually not a bad talk either. He has an intimidating voice at least. Like his voice matches his body. Oh my God, Luke Hang, I will keep kicking you. Jesus. I feel like I'm fighting Luke Kang online. <laughs> so yeah, we got to hear more Braun Strowman talk, which is cool. I think he's pretty cool. He's only gonna get better, you know? Ooh. So yeah, they win. Then we got champion versus champion, right back versus Seth fucking Rollins. So again, I like Ryback, I like Seth Rollins, but this match is not good. Like you know, he's the big guy. I love the knife edge chop spot where Seth Rollins ran to him and he just like literally like Ryback just chopped the living dick out of Seth Rollins. I was like, oh my god, he almost ripped his nipple off. Shot out to the rock. <laughs> I think it was like, uh, I think it was Triple H who ripped the rock's nipple off of a chair or something. I don't know. Was, that's why he was wearing that like track suit for like many months. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Not for the rock's nipple, but it's, it's okay. Very slow match. Picked up in the end a little bit. It got a little better, but this Raw was just not very good at all. We have the five-star Ryback Splash. Which is cool. It's cool to see that. Saffron's Triple Dive. I love the Saffron's Triple Drive. So, that was awesome. Big Guy wins. Was that out to coming? So, I guess, yeah. They wanted, like, Seth to lose, like, both. Ooh. Yeah, I went to the bubble. They wanted Seth to lose both his matches. So, you know. They, they want just everyone to think Seth's, like... Gonna like lose. It's definitely like cannot wait to see the end result with this um Saffron's Triple H match because you know big big fans. Ooh, and a nut. What's the mix up? Nothing because I messed up the grab timing. Uh oh, so ball. Wee. Good. Got your reptile. Ooh, MK9 combos. <laughs> so yeah. Right back wins with the roll up. Uh, Sting comes out. Sting! The man calls Sting! Comes out. I wish he had that theme song. <laughs> it would make no sense with the curl gimmick, but I don't care. I just want to hear the theme song at least once. <laughs> like in WWE, because that theme song's a shit. So yeah, big boy, big guy wins with a small package, so. Then. Okay, dude. Super kick! Shout out to your box. So then we get probably one of my favorite segments next to the main event. The main event was fucking incredible. We got the New Day with Seth Rollins coming back from the match. He's all pissed and shit, looking for like Sting. Edge and Christian, big fan of Christian. Edge looked like a total douchebag though with his haircut. Oh my god, he need to calm down. So no no no. So fucking in this short span. We get New Day dropping bars. We get fucking Xavier Woods with a Final Fantasy VII win theme on the tron on the trumpet or the trombone, whatever the fuck you want to call it. That was amazing. We get fucking Biggie with the ooh, with the kazoo. Xavier Woods finally gets his wish of challenging fucking um Christian to a fucking instrument battle, which I'm like, oh my. Like, this couldn't have gone any perfect if I planned this. <laughs> this is amazing. And then we get, um, Team 3D, you know, Bully Ray up in this bitch. People talking shit about Bully Ray, saying how he, like, stiff and hurts people, and I'm like, well, welcome to wrestling, pussies. Like, Jesus. Like, it's supposed to keep them safe, but, like, some people work that stiff style, you know? I like Bully Ray's style, because right? everything he does looks like it fucking hurts. Like, ooh. I like that guy, because everything he does is believable. So, whatever, to all that. So, fucking Team 3D got the song for New Day. And Kofi Kingston says my favorite line of the day with 3D, you ain't got no bars. And I'm like, yo, they ain't got no bars. That's true, that's true, that's true. That's fact right there. That was amazing. And the Godiums, the Godiums were all over this show. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? So then we get um, Summer Rae explaining her thirst for Dolph Ziggler. This was literally like, I am thirsty, the promo. A wild Rusev appears. 
Uh, so that was okay. This whole storyline sucks, but this segment actually wasn't that bad, just because the a line that Tom Ziggler said. So, yeah, that was whatever. Uh, Rusev. It's just like, whatever, blah, 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 I forget. They're definitely going with this whole double turn, though. And it was even more eminent here of the whole Rusev actually feeling sorry for Lana for getting cheated on number Dolph Ziggler. God, Dolph Ziggler, the fucking scumbag. They're literally making Dolph Ziggler the greatest scumbag ever with this storyline. So yeah, whatever. Rusev forgives um, fucking Summer Rae. Summer Rae in that magazine, though. Ooh, kill him. So, also Summer Rae was like comparing Rusev to a lighthouse the whole time, and I'm like, all right, Rusev is a lighthouse confirmed. So that's pretty funny. She's like, you are the light that leads me, and I'm like, uh huh. So you're basically trying to say Rusev is a fucking lighthouse. So I'm like, I would go to that lighthouse. Like, Yo, dun, 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 dun. man, fuck this shit. So that was cool. So, the Summer Rae also explaining the water. The mist coming out of Dolph Ziggler's abs and body were amazing. So that was kind of funny. This is just really bad stuff here. Uh, fucking Rusev calls, um, so he says, like, oh, Lana, I'm sorry that you had to deal with a skinny American. And I'm like, Dolph Ziggler is just a skinny American. Double change definitely happening. Scumbag Dolph Ziggler comes in, gives the mic to him, super kicks him. That was an amazing super kick, by the fucking way. That was an amazing super kick. Best line, though, is fucking when uh, Rusev says, like, how can you do this to Lana and blah, 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 that you should be with her right now. And Dolph Ziggler's like, I forgot what exactly what he said. He was like, oh, don't worry. He, oh, he, Rusev said, you can't make Lana feel the way, you know, he feel. And fucking Dolph Ziggler's like, don't worry, I made Lana feel like very good or something. And everyone was like, oh, got him! And everyone was like falling to the ground, because you know Dolph Ziggler just got him. This segment was what the fuck. Uh, I'll be back with part two after this. Enjoy the Johnny Cage flawless victory. Catch you guys.